Hello, 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 and welcome again to all my DIYers and craftaholics. Today I wanted to share with you guys this beautiful tote bag that I made for my mother several years ago. And I just really wanted to think outside the box with my color scheme and kind of go bold. So I thought I would share the process with you really quickly. Fabric. I picked it all up at the local Hobby Lobby. These are the fabrics that I used to make this tote bag. This, as you can see, is such a beautiful tote. She loves color just like I do. So I decided to go with a turquoise and, and some really beautiful like orange colors and different flower patterns. And this tote bag she uses for her church um, tote bag. When she goes to service, she's able to put her Bible in her little zippy pouch I made here. I, I made this zippy pouch with a nice, good, thick stabilizer because I really wanted it to be able to stand up on its own. I didn't want it to collapse. And I thought, well, maybe she doesn't have to take her whole purse if she can just put her wallet and other small items in the zippy pouch. Here you see me showing her little binder that I made her. That was actually a lot of fun making that. And I also decided to make her a few accessories to go along with it. So as you can see, it's such a cute tote. It's a very nice size. For the accessories, I decided to go with this really cute little bag here that I made for her. Along with that, you know, you need to take notes if you're going to church. And so I made her the binder um, that she can, you know, keep reusing if she wants to. I put some really cute accessories on that as well. And as you can see, it matches her back perfectly. We use the same fabrics inside and out. And as well as her little zippy pouch, it matches everything as well. I did add a couple of little um, accessories, as you can see with the beaded um, bottoming there. You can hang out of the purse and look very nice. It does also match the same fabrics that I chose for the rest of the purse. I love the handle that I put on this zippy pouch. I also put a tab on the bottom so that she could hold it either way. It fits really nicely in the bag. Like I said, I did use a really good thick stabilizer on the bag when I made it. I had to throw in a couple of cute little paper clips here, as you see, sitting on the end of her little binder there so that she can put those where she needs to. And I made sure to add extra fabric in the back because my mother is a craftaholic like me. And she does have her own craft room and she's in there quite often and she loves sewing. So I figured that maybe she could add something to the little project. She can add her own little bit of uniqueness to it as well. My mom, she makes clothes and she, she does it all. So whatever she wanted to add, maybe a cozy slip cover for her coffee cup or what have you. So overall, it all came out wonderful. Like, like I said, I forgot that I even made this for her, but I'm so happy that I did. And it was such a fun project. Just wanted to share it. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.